Hey guys, Zizek here, and uh, I found some of the Galactic Connection booster packs at my Walmart. Uh, like I said in the other video, these are Walmart exclusive, so they're only going to be at Walmart. And these actually weren't with the trading cards at the front of the store. These were back on the actual toy aisle with the Star Wars stuff, kind of on a uh, end rack, just kind of hanging up on pegs. So if you can't find them at your Walmart, try checking back in the toys, because apparently some people have been putting them back there. So these are about $4 each. These have five discs in them. Uh, I don't know if there's a set rarity or anything like that. I don't think there is. But, uh, it's a five disc game rules and checklist. So, let's uh, open these up and see what we got. All right, so really quickly, here's the game rules and checklist. This looks exactly like the one that was in the starter pack. So you've seen that before. And the discs we got, oh, I got a Wampa. That's pretty cool. And uh, I noticed, I don't know how like uh, common this is, but you can actually see maybe on this video that these were really scratched up just right out of the package and already have like thumbprint marks on them and I haven't even like touched the back really. So they're kind of already scuffed up just right out of the package. That's kind of annoying, but there's a regular uh, I think that's, uh, common, yeah, Wampa. And we got a clear, rare Chop of the Hut on there. And, uh, yeah, like I said, it's not a foil, it's just how many scratches are on it already out of the package. And you can actually see thumbprints on the back already, and I haven't even touched that one yet. We got Tyon Medon? I don't know who that is. Got a black one. Another black one, and <laughs> pair of Palpatine. And we got the Imperial Royal Guard. So that was two commons, two uncommons, and a rare. Uh, none of them foil, though. That kind of sucks. But still pretty cool, at least. Four dollars is not bad, especially since these are good quality stuff. Except for all the scratches. Still don't know what's going on with that. Oh, I see you shiny this time. So maybe they're always two commons, two uncommons, and a rare? Or maybe the ultra rare replaces that one? I'm not sure. But... Ooh, we got a shiny... Ah, uh, what is her name? Ventress? From the uh, Clone Wars show? That's awesome. So we got a regular hollow one. And apparently I've learned as well, uh, the... Sorry to just interrupt really quick, but apparently the, uh... The foils are actually rarer to get, so non-foil is easy to get, regular foils harder to get, and the pattern foil is the hardest to get out of each variation. Okay, so back to these. We got Chewbacca. We got a regular common Chewbacca. That's awesome. And we got Qui-Gon Jinn. It's even more awesome. Amazing. Ooh, we got Shakti. A uh, uncommon one. And our rare is Luke Skywalker. That's pretty cool. So yeah. So that was everything I got from two booster packs there. Uh, I think they're actually a good deal. For $4 you get five really good quality discs. I think it's pretty cool. I still don't understand why they're all scratched up already though. Maybe that's just a thing with these first batch. Since these are the uh, first edition you can see on the back. But, like I said before, if you guys have any questions or anything, just let me know. And we're going to try to have an actual gameplay video up sometime soon, hopefully in the next day or two. So thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day.